Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotion. scripture reading today, please read James chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. James chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, Here's a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, You stand there, or sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? 
God's favor overcomes favoritism. We learn in our passage today that favoritism creates injustice in our world and corruption. When we say corruption is rampant, we want favors done for us, whether that be in government like palakasan or in private agreements of utang na loob. We want it our way and we find ways to get what we want. We can take no to our requests, but God's way is different. He doesn't show favoritism because He is just and righteous and declares that all of us have sinned and fallen short of His glory. Therefore, we need the Savior of the world, Christ our Lord, to save us from our favorite ways, favorite things, and favorite sins. Today is a time to surrender your rights and take responsibility for your life. No more excuses, no more palusots, and no more blaming for your unfavorable situation. May the Lord help us to be just and true in all our dealings, to follow the Lord's way, and to gain His favor, because that is what grace is all about, the undeserved favor of the Lord in our lives and ministries. No favoritism and yes to God's favor. This reminds us that when we are not fair and just in our dealings with all people, then we have chosen what we like, and this causes disproportionate attention and concern for a certain group of people. When we do what we want rather than what God wants, then we fall into prejudice and assumptions that cannot hold unity and camaraderie. We desire for things to go our way and we manipulate circumstances. But at the end of the day, when we care for all the people, then we build the community of God's church from every tribe, every tongue, and every nation that belongs to God. May the Lord help us not show partiality between people, but treat everyone with kindness, gentleness, firmness, truthfulness, and fairness. Shalom, everyone. Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, help me to overcome favoritism and to look at people in such a way the gospel is preached to all so that people can respond to your favor. Lord, you show me the way in which I should live and help me to be responsible rather than blaming others for my situation. Thank you, Lord, for your favor in my life. In your name we pray. Amen.